it because we saw Steel Right on earlier, right? And I'm already a big fan. I love the name. I love the character selection, right? Uh, again, from what we were told earlier, they are the melee player in the Middle East. But Emas, this guy is something else. Let me tell you. One of the, the, probably the best player in the Middle East. I think that's pretty much safe to say. But this guy is good. They are very good. If you are not familiar with Emas, you have not been watching EU tournaments, by the way, where they have been taking big names uh, to the brink, closing out tournaments. Like, this guy is the real deal. These two in their respective games as well are like two of like borderline the best players in the Middle East in like two separate games as well. Yeah. You know, we talked about, you know, Steel Rydon, you know, being, I believe you said second, I think, in the uh, second in melee at one point uh, for sure in the, in their respective region. But hey, you know, Pokemon Stadium 2 here is the, oh God, is the pick with the Wolf Flash going to be able to get a lot of damage and the Charlie Brown not going to do it yet for Byleth already, but looking pretty poised for both these players. And there's the tech. I love watching players do that, get that turnaround because of the way that, uh, the way that body blocking works in this game. Just narrowly timing that back throw, able to get in. We got Steel Rhydon actually taking the first stock against Emas. We've casted a set of Steel Rhydon already. We know what this player is capable of, Skiff. Yeah, uh, th this is actually what I'm really interested about, though, is the fact that we see Emas on Byleth. I was not familiar that they had a Byleth, but, uh, because they're normally a joker, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kind of just like... What's going on here? You know, what, what's what's the deal? What's happening? Honestly, he's not playing bad, but the way that Steel Rhydon's playing right now, uh, he's looking like a much better player. And it's scary, I think, to give a player like this that type of momentum if you do switch back to Joker here. But right now, you are able to even it up by stocks. 82%, though, that is quite the difference in trying to close it out there, that forward smash. I feel like Joker has to, like, fight Wolf a little bit more. And I guess maybe right now, you know, Emash just wants to be able to poke steel right on from like the mid-range you know is that back air is going to be able to take the stock but what emas i'm not sure if they accounted for is you know being able to just get overwhelmed by steel right on right here you know their decision making especially as we saw in the first set from steel right on his decision making has been it's been second to none honestly but at the same time my goodness with the zero to death on the part of emas already you gotta remember byleth has some of the best hitboxes on this game on a character that just struggles to move sometimes and with a character that's a fast faller like wolf you know those combos are gonna be damn near second to none what a beautiful stock from emas so far we got ourselves a set skiff yeah, that was uh, that was pretty nice. And man, yeah, these guys are pulling out all the stops. It's game one right now. But uh, it is Steel Rhydon's game to lose. He had such a hot start here. Oh, 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 that was where things get a little bit scary. But the landing lag on that down air actually stopped Emas from potentially closing it out. But look how even this game is right now. This is definitely where things get a little bit tough. Wolf can struggle to close out stocks at later percentages. It's just about making the right plays in the back air. Oh, the tipper. Closing that out for Emas, some way, somehow, getting it done. My goodness, that was very good decision making on the part of uh, on the part of Emas right there, because that was a very scary situation to be in, missing your tech in that scenario, because you know that off of that, you know of off of that very scenario, off that hit, Wolf is going to be looking for the tech read, and you know in that situation he's going to go be going for the one that you expect the least. And what is the one that you expect the least? A very committal option like dash attack. So in that situation, a lot of players would definitely roll away because they want to be away from the Wolf right there. But it was very good on Emas to recognize, like, okay, there's more of a risk of me rolling away right here, because if he goes for dash attack, I just die from the ledge right there. If he reads me from center stage and I roll in, I very well might die, but there's a, like, sort of a larger chance that I don't. Especially for the fact that, like, in this situation, this is where he would go for dash attack for sure, because it's what he least expects. And as a result, that's how Emas was able to narrowly take that game there. It just got, it just went to raw fundamentals at the end of that game right there. I went for the right option. And I was able to win because of it. That's it. I, I had good decision making. Yeah, but uh, getting into this next game, obviously Emas was able to close that one out. But granted, there's there's a couple of moments there, like uh -oh. you, you just get the right hit boxes and everything just seems to work out. But he's going in the cloud for game two, and so far not the wrong option. But it's interesting to see you know players switch characters after they pull out a win like that. So we'll see how this plays out. I mean, I. I have full faith in Emas to be able to close this one out here, but I'd like to see Steel Rhydon make the comeback. 
Yeah, it was such a scary situation to get in limit two. I would love to see what Steel Rhydon's going to be able to do. I mean, we already see the situational awareness from Steel Rhydon off the ledge, scooping the Wolf Flash with the limit again. That was the second time that we've seen the limit come out, and the second time we've seen the limit come out at perfect timing. We saw Cloud get the limit off of a back throw, and as a result, at the low percent, was able to perfectly combo into the limit cross slash, and right there, getting it right when they need to stuff out the Wolf Flash, but Steel Rhydon. Answering right back with a back air of his own. Trying to go right down there to get good damage off of the Wolf Up B. Oh, man, these guys are scrapping with each other so far in this set right here. It's good adaptation on the part of Rhydon against the Cloud right here. I'm anxious to see what they can do against this counter pick. Yeah, but this second stock right now is definitely not looking good. Hey, sorry you tried the cross slash to the right. Didn't you not know that left Cloud is better? Left facing Cloud. Come on, Emas. Watch the video. Shoutouts to Waidu. But... Right now, this is definitely looking much better. Another cross slash limit. <laughs> Gonna be able to close out that stock. And what seemed to be a pretty decent game on the first stock here is now heavy in EMAS favor. And we're seeing the reads come out from Steel Rhydon as well, but just the spacing is unfortunately not there. You saw the double jump back air come out, but the lingering hitbox of Cloud's down air is just not going to do it against a character like Wolf, my friend. It's just going to be able to stuff that out so easy peasy. And as a result, we see Emas starting to slowly but surely run away from this game. You know, already lapping Steel Rhydon in percent. Only needs one stock to advance further into the winner's bracket through winner's round three right here. But the Wolf Flash... For the third time in this set, I think, going to get the strong hitbox of it, and we need to be able to get this kill right now for Steel Rhydon to be able to have any chance at winning this. There's the late nair, but going to be able to get oh. the tech into the up B, down and away, my friend Emas. Two for two on those offstage techs. The very beginning of this game, we saw a very similar situation happen where... Steel Rhydon was able to get Emas offstage without the jump, exactly where you want Cloud to be, going for the late nair. Which is not easy to tech, by the way, because you don't always know if that's going to send you to the left or to the right, depending on how the wolf spaces it. And two for two times, Emas was able to tech that in that scenario and get the kill off of it in reversed. This time, the second time, doing it for the game finale in the most stylish fashion that they do. That had to have been the most well-earned W to advance in the winner's bracket. I think we've seen in our block so far, Skiff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely... I mean, Emas at his peak. This guy is super good. And it's weird to see him pull out all these other characters. I mean, for those who are tuning in, I guess a good way to think of Emas is M-E, Leo. The M-E standing for the Middle East. This guy, I guess as long as the character has a blade of some sort, whether it's a dagger on Joker, the spear sword, bow, whatever you want on Byleth, or the buster sword on Cloud, this guy's going to find a way to get it done, man. Looking fantastic the whole way through. Um, the first game was a little bit shaky. The second game looked pretty even, but it seems like as soon as Emas just gets that motor going, that's it. It's game over. Still right on now and loses bracket. Get your motor it's crazy running. because like it's three matches in, right? That's winners quarterfinals and still right on their, their best possible scenario is just to make it to the losers side of top 32. This isn't a bad player. <laughs> this bracket is stacked with Middle East talent, Japanese talent as well, and a little bit of Mexico. Chag is actually here as well. 